All right. So I am interviewing Val today. Hey, Val, how's it going? It's going well. How are you, Ben? I'm good. It's been a while. It's It's been some time. It's been like a year and a half, right? Yeah, it's been a while. And I, I, I hate that it's taken us so long to have this conversation because we've been trying for like over a month and a half to just have a quick, just, solid conversation. But like, I've been busy. You've been busy. But we're here now. We're going to get yep. all the questions answered. Everyone's going to find out what I've been up to yes. and what I have coming up. So I'm excited. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to talk about you, your story and everything and all that. So let's dive right in. So uh, what I ask everybody, you know, like, you know, you were in the mentorship program. It was a year and a half ago that you joined. Mm -hmm. Um, What were you doing like right before you came into the program? (laughs) Wishing I had started the program sooner. (laughs) Okay. All Um, right. (laughs) So I would say I I had just started, like I had created my little logo and started my my, um, website online. And it was just, I think for me, because I was pregnant at the time when I started doing all of that, I felt conflicted on like, okay, when do I start? Do I wait until after I have my baby? Do I wait six months after? Like, it was just kind of a, you know, tug of war with myself in terms of like, when do I do it? Because I felt I'm a new, I'm going to be a new mom. Now it's not the time. But when I was pregnant, I had so much motivation to just start. And so I was just watching all of your YouTube videos every day, all day. I would have my uh, speaker in the shower while I was showering, while I'm getting dressed, putting on my uniform. I mean, I was in the military, so I put my uniform on. Driving to work, I would just, I was listening to you every single day and I'd go back and replay certain videos. Um, Mm. So that was kind of like my initial motivation to get started. Sure. Um, and so with the information I learned from the YouTube, that's how I, okay, he recommends you use, you know, Wix or whatever the other one you, you were using. Um, Weebly, you know, I was just kind of, yeah, Weebly, that was it. Um, so I was just really like listening to your suggestions and your recommendations. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say that was maybe August of 2019, October of 2019. I said, I'm just going to start it. It's like, did everything I needed to do to get my business registered, contacted the state office, did all of that. So as of October of 2019, I was an official business, but I hadn't done anything. And I right. still was waiting for like the motivation or the right time. And for some reason, when after I had my son in March, I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to just sign up for the class because I, I kept wanting to. And I just kept talking myself out of it because I kept thinking, well, you know, I'm getting all this free information from his YouTube channel. And I'll just keep listening because eventually it'll just all make sense. But it just Just... kept not come. Everything wasn't just, it was making sense, but I didn't have enough information to feel confident Mm -hmm. to just kind of go and do. And so I said, you know, about, I think you just need to go ahead and pay for the class. Um, And so I joined the class and within a week of being in the class, I got my first client. And I remember getting... Yeah, I remember messaging you, Ben, what do I say? What do I yeah. do? And yep. I don't know, you know. <laughs> I remember it very um, well. I, I'm yeah, glad you brought that up. Was... I'm glad you brought yeah. it up because a lot of people talk about like, well, a lot of people are following the YouTube content. A lot of people are probably watching this on YouTube right now and uh, mm-hmm. as part of my, you know, uh, my channel. And you can watch a lot of YouTube videos, right? I put out a lot of content, you know what I mean? But you can watch that till you're blue in the face. Um, but until I think, you know, you get coached and mentored and, you know, we really dial it in and start working on the problems and the, the intricacies and the specifics of, you know, what you got to do, then things are much, much different, you know? Absolutely. And I don't know how I stumbled upon yours. I know I was specifically looking for like how to be, how to do staffing, how do I make a staffing company? And that's how I found your material. Um, but I would say it really started to um, make sense for me once I joined the Facebook group. That's when things got even more like on target. Yeah. Um, and then once I joined the, um, took the class, everything just started to like, okay, so this is the difference between YouTube and having direct access to him. Right. And that was the most, uh, the most resourceful part of it to me or for me was having access to you. Because, Um, yeah, like you said, I can watch your content and get the information, but I didn't know what to do when I got that response from, you know, my first potential client. I didn't know how to respond to him. Um, And then even 
you, you know, you provided a lot of resources and, oh, utilize these tools. Here's some things for your toolbox. But I didn't know how to really utilize the tools that you were giving us access to or mm -hmm. that you were telling us about. Um, but through the program, I would say that was, it, it was um, it was the most helpful for me for you to like show us your screen. OK, here's how you do the LinkedIn extensions. This is what Lead Seeker is. This is what you know. And at the time, I know you I know you're using different things now. But yeah. at the time when I was in the course, these are some of the programs that I was learning about. OK. Um, what was the something frog? Oh no, that was Elite Leaper. And then there was right. Octopus. And you know, so right. I didn't know what the hell to do with Octopus, you know. But <laughs> yeah. while, being yeah. in the program, you would show us, you would give us the templates, you would, you know, walk us through it all. And then um I, again that, you know, being able to message you and get like quick response from you um was a blessing for me because that was I think more what I needed in the process was like a, a handhold. And I got yeah. that and I wouldn't yeah. have got that through YouTube, you know, or just through the sure. Facebook. So um, things I, changed very quickly once I joined the mentorship program. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you singing the graces. Uh, what, so people always want to know, right? Um, like how many contracts were you able to sign since you joined the program? You know, um, Ball, ballpark number. Yeah, I would say maybe eight or nine. Um, and, you know, again, mine is going to be a different kind of story. I, I don't have the, oh, I've signed 50 contracts since working with you, uh, mostly right. because I was active duty military. I was a new mom working on my PhD, you know, moving, mm -hmm. transitioning to a new state. So I had a lot of things already going on. However, um, that doesn't um, negate the fact that I have still done well. Um, and I focus on my repeat clients. I have my clients need me every month, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not, I, I maybe had four out of those nine, I think four of them have been like one-time things, but the rest of them, they need me, you know, monthly. And so for that mm -hmm. reason, I've not really had to go out and get new clients. So right now right. I'm not even looking for new clients um, because again, throughout your program, I, I gained motivation and confidence to do other things that I wanted to do in life. Um, like through my business, um, I also do career coaching, so I don't just mm -hmm. do staffing. And this is kind of why I left the HR world in the beginning, because I didn't feel I had the opportunity to truly impact these people's lives. You know, they come in for an interview and if they weren't good in the interview, they didn't get the job. Right. And I wanted so bad to be able to like, Hey, so let's talk about what went wrong, or let's talk about some things that we could have done differently. And I wasn't hired to do that. I didn't have time to do that. They weren't paying me to do that. Yeah. And so when I started my company and I started interviewing people, it just kind of clicked like, wow, this is, you need to add this to like, as a part of your company, because this is what you yeah. can do. And I was very intentional um, with like the name of my company. Um, so my company is called Guided Professional Staffing Network. And it's kind of a playoff of my son's name. Also my maiden name, which is Gibson. So okay. you can't really see my logo, but uh, GPS, yeah, see yeah, my son's name is yeah. Gibson. Yeah. And so I, I did that intentionally. Um, but with the name, I, I knew I didn't want to just, you know, be a staffing company. And so that's kind of why mm -hmm. I, I made my a company be called Guided Professionals. But I want to be able to guide people throughout this process, not just get them a job and be done with them. Right. Um, but, you know, if they need help making their resume, if they need help with interview tips, um, or um, career exploration, like maybe they've been doing a job for a while and they decided they want to do something different. I'm there right. to help guide them through that. Um, right. and also why I chose the word network at the end, because again, I just, I don't want to just be a staffing company. I, I want to be a network to where I can provide you resources. You can come back to me later. Um, hey Val, you know, I've been working at such and such for X amount of years, the job you got me. Um, but I, I would really love for you to help me update my resume or I would right. love for you to provide, you know, opportunities or um, resources to other people in other ways. Um, I do career uh, job readiness workshops for different uh, people. I've done it for the military since I've been gone. Um, I've done um, a lot of job readiness workshops specifically for um, formerly incarcerated individuals. And so like my company isn't just a staffing company. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, you know, I, I titled it the way I did. And so throughout right. that, I, I, I started doing career coaching. And 
Um, that has been going extremely well um, to the point where I had to kind of shut my calendar off because yeah. I was having so many people book sessions with me and I, I was kind of losing time. Um, and especially since I've been traveling so much, I'm literally somewhere different every week. And so yeah. I'm like, you guys are cutting into my travel. So I had to, right. <laughs> I just kind of take a step back from the, from the career coaching, which is something I have learned that I just love doing. I've been doing it all my life. I just didn't know how to make it into, you know, a moneymaker. Yep. Um, and so I, I think, again, that's a part of the reason why I don't have a bunch more clients, you know, or contracts. Signed. I have clients, but, you know, different right. types of clients. I have clients who need me to get them jobs, clients who need me to find people for the jobs that they have open. And then I have clients who need me to help them, you know, through the interview process. Right. And so um, I love that. I it's mean, there's been, multiple yeah, avenues. It's, yeah. And it's just been an amazing experience. And it all literally started because of you, because I, I, I gained that confidence to do what was important to me and to do what made the most sense to me. Um, and so I love um, that. The next thing I have coming up, you and I briefly talked about it. You know, I'm uh, going to be getting into the government yes. um, contracts. And so, yeah, right tell now, us I'm about that. Time to just, yeah. So, um, I've done everything I need to do to be able to go on bid and, you know, submit proposals and do all of that. But um, I don't feel um, that I have educated myself enough. And so I'm using the rest of this year to just I, I sign up for a couple courses. I have some government contracting mentors who I've been meeting with. And so I'm using this time to just educate myself. Mm -hmm. And again, without my business, I wouldn't be able to do this. And right. so, uh, again, kudos to you for, you know, walking me through this and coaching me through um learning what I need to know. So now that it's setting me up for um, things I can do later. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be a totally different world, but kind of the same, you know, like when I look at right. it, when I was in the military, um, I was our government contract supervisor. So I learned oh, okay. a lot about what the government contract looked like on the active duty side. Um, and it's really staffing. They're providing bodies to do a job. And I'm like, well, hell, that's what I do now. Right. Um, and I know I could do it a lot better than the companies that I was working with. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, through the tools that I've gained from you, the knowledge I've gained from you is how I felt, is, is why I felt confident enough to be able to go in this direction. Um, I'm not going to stop my staffing because I, I love it. You know, I have um, some amazing clients that I work with. Yeah. Um, and we just have a great relationship and right. So I'm not going to stop anything of what I'm doing, but my team will get bigger eventually once I do the government contracting. So Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I mean, Val is special, right. You know, uh, because you just took it right out of the gate and you were successful in the program. I mean, from literally in the first three weeks, um, you had gotten several of those clients that you have now still feeding you on a monthly mm -hmm. basis, which is amazing. Um, yeah. and that which does not how happen. I'm paying everybody. for all of my travel. There we go. Right. So, <laughs> and then adding all these different avenues to your business, giving back, um, being able to pivot, do career coaching, all these different things that, that you want to make part of your, um, lifestyle business really, which is what this is. And, and that's amazing. That's, that's, I mean, kudos to you. Hats off. That's awesome. Thank I love you. it. Thank you. you know, you're doing big, big things. Um, I guess one question, all right. Um, that, that would, that would be for, for you. What would you say to somebody that's thinking about joining the recruiter mentorship program and they're watching this interview, hearing you, hearing your story, hearing about how, how you've done what you've done and where you're at now and, and all that. What's what what are your thoughts for them? I would say, um, and it's probably what everybody says, like just don't wait because one, class is gonna get more expensive the longer you wait. That happened to me. I was ready to sign up. I was like, oh, okay, I should have just did it when I initially wanted to. Um and two, like Ben is a gym that we aren't probably fully utilizing. And you cannot fully utilize them if you aren't in that mentorship course because you can't receive the mentorship, you know, in in the most appropriate way. He he doesn't. Let's be honest. He doesn't have time to respond to everybody on Facebook if you're not paying him. So that's the reality. Like he has to get paid, and if you want his time, you got to pay it. Um, and so I would say just sign up for the class. If you're on a fence, stop being on the fence. Get off the damn fence and sign up for the class if you're serious. If you're not serious, then okay, keep waiting. 
Um, and if you're not sure if you're serious, continue to keep waiting and, and, and wish that you had done it sooner. So, um, and again, the, the, the most valuable part of the course for me was having that access to him. Because there are things that you will learn in the course that you cannot learn from YouTube. You cannot learn just from being in the Facebook group. Um, and then not to mention the things we learn from each other in the course, because we're all on our Zoom calls and we're all talking about what we've learned. We're talking about our experiences. We're talking about the conversations we've had with our clients. Um, and we're learning what not to say. We're learning what to say. We're learning what programs work best for us. Um, we're learning so much from everybody, not just Ben. And so that's just another um, benefit of joining the course um, is to, to get that information and that, that group experience from everybody because we're all going after the same thing, but somebody might reach it a different way. Someone might reach it uh, sooner than the others. And if you're there to listen to kind of what their story was as they navigated through that process, you're going to be able to pick up on things much sooner. And so take the damn course, sign up today. <laughs> amen. Amen. I, I obviously couldn't have said it better. Um, you've definitely, you definitely covered it all. Um, I think, I think you put it the best way it could ever be put, to be honest with you. Um, and you are, you're, you're out there kicking ass, um, and taking names right now. So I love the things you're doing. I'm so glad uh, that you are where you're at. And, uh, you know, like I said, everybody, We'll do a second interview um, when you're a seven figure hitter. Um, and at that point, we'll, we'll do a second interview. So we'll come back and, and revisit everything uh, about that time. Yeah, because and I'll, I'll be honest, um, hitting six figures at this point in the year already um, is, is, is a blessing. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, and to still have, you know, another like I think I have like maybe 44 coming just for the month of October already wow. um and so that is just that's very different for me you know I, I don't come from money i don't come from um family who have seen money the way i'm seeing it right now mm -hmm. um and it's been um good for me to be able to do things differently you know in my life and my family i, I have zero dollars in debt right now mm -hmm. um and i've never lived that life and it's because i went out on a limb started my company learned from the best you um and I would just say like, it's been um, a life changing experience, you know, to be able to do what I want to do freely and not have to think about, oh, financially, how am I going to do this? I'm able to help my friends financially. I'm able to, um, you know, travel and not think about, well, shoot, what credit card, you know, how am I going to pay this off? Um, and I get to have fun doing it. And right. Money that I've made, it has been, there's been some challenges for sure sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes there's some positions you just can't feel. Um, right. But, but you learn, you know, and it's just been an amazing experience. And I'm, I'm really just overjoyed that I finally went and did it because I wouldn't be where I am today so, so, so quickly, you know, if it wasn't for you. And so I'm very thankful that I stumbled upon you and um, that you've been able to, you know, consistently, you know, keep communication with with me, even though I'm not, you know, still doing the, the weekly mentorship, but I, I still can reach out and ask a question and, and get an answer if I need to. And I, I appreciate that. So thank you Absolutely. so much, Ben, for everything, for your thank you. the community that you've built. Um, you are you are changing a lot of lives. And I, I just, thank I really you, thank, thank you. you for that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate the fact that you took a little bit of chunk out of your day today. Uh, cause I know you are a very busy woman, um, <laughs> literally on the run, um, you know, doing your thing left and right. So I really appreciate the time taken just to chat with us and do this interview. Um, and, uh, and I think what you said is, is very valuable, um, to a lot of people that need to hear kind of what they need to hear. Right. So, um, I yeah. thank you very much for that. Um, and, uh, like I said, again, we'll do this again. Um, and, and all of that, but, uh, for now. I guess we will uh, bid you farewell and thank you All for, right. for being on. Okay. Thanks so much, Ben. I look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Look forward to it as well. Okay. Talk All soon. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. Bye-bye.